Hello, in this video we will introduce you to risk management in the back office. In Aetna Trader, all functionality related to risk management is available on the fifth tab of the back office called Risk. The range of operations that can be performed on this tab includes configuration of five finger rules, configuration of risk rules, approval or rejection of suspended orders, and so forth. When you open the Risk tab, you are presented with three sub-tabs – Orders for Review, Risk Rules, and Fat Finger Rules. Let's start with Risk Rules, and this is a very powerful tab that allows you to configure risk rules of varying complexity. Essentially, you can configure a risk rule with certain conditions, and whenever somebody places a new order, if this order satisfies the conditions in the risk rule, this order might either be sent for review or be outright rejected. And alternatively, you can simply display a warning to the trader. Risk rules can have different priority. For example, if you configure two rules that might possibly conflict with each other, the rule with the higher priority will be applied. And of course, you can enable, disable rules, and you can also remove them. All right, now let's try to add a new rule. Let's click Add. And this will bring up the risk rule configuration window. We can configure the priority of this rule. Let's set it to 1000. Let's enable the rule. Let's send the order for review. We can also simply warn the trader, or we can even reject the order completely. But in this example, we're just going to review the order. Let's specify the conditions. For example, let's imagine that you would like to review all orders in which your traders are attempting to short sell the Amazon stock. You know that this might lead to substantial losses, and that's why you would like to first review these orders. So first we're going to select the security. Let's type in the security symbol of the Amazon stock. And the second condition will be selling short. So we're going to select order side, sell short. And the message will be orders in which the Amazon stock is being sold short must first be reviewed by the broker. Okay, we're done. The rule is enabled. Let's click Save Rule. And as you can see, this rule is currently active. And if we try to short sell the Amazon stock, this order will be sent for review. But whenever the order is sent for review, this order will appear on the Orders for Review sub tab. This tab will feature all suspended orders that you can either accept or reject. And finally, let's talk about the fat finger rules. Configuration of these rules is mandatory in order to comply with the Securities and Exchange Commission Rule 15C3 that requires firms with market access to create and maintain risk management controls. For example, you can limit the number of securities that are traded within a single order. It's also possible to limit the number of contracts that are traded within a single order. You can also specify the maximum dollar value of a single order. And finally, we have the trade bands. Trade bands allow you to define the maximum deviation of the market price from the limit price. These two trade bands will be applied if the market price of the security is lower than the price border. For example, if you're trading a stock that is worth $4 on the market, these trade bands will be applied. However, if the price of the security is higher than $5, bottom two trade bands will be applied. That means if the price of the security is lower than $5, the limit price of the order cannot be either higher than 10% of the market price of the security or lower than 10% of the market price. For the bottom, let's set 15% and 40%. And that means if the security we're trying to trade is priced higher than $5, the limit price of the order cannot be lower than 15% of the market price. And simultaneously, it cannot be higher than 40% of the market price. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the back office, feel free to contact our support team. You can also watch our other videos on the back office on our YouTube channel. And we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.